Okay, so I'm on my laptop mic again. So let, let me show you. Um, so this is my company website. When you're going to it, are you logged in? Just out of curiosity, because if you are, it's going to be a little slower. So I'm just pointing that out. But I understand, I understand what you're saying on mobile. Um, it loads on mobile on my phone, and I don't have the screen mirroring set up. Probably like in three seconds. So, I mean, you don't have anything to worry about there. But I understand your concern is just the Core Web Vitals and the numbers. And that's definitely important. But let me just show you. So this is you, and this is a 29. Now this is simulated from slow, slow 4G throttling, um, and also if you go down here, you can see it's 3G. Uh, where where is it at? Let me just do this. So I mean, it's it, it, rarely it do can you get people's Core Web Vitals mobile to green. So let me I just ran a few examples of websites that came to, come came to mind. Oh, so this is this is you know lab data. This isn't real. And if you update things, it's going to take. Um, you know, a month or two for it to show that it's going to improve. So I'm not saying there's nothing that can be done. I'm saying most people I work with, their expectations are too high because you're not hand coding anything, right? So if you're using WordPress, there's going to be a lot of extra stuff that's put on there that are going to damage your scores. So let me, let me, hopefully I can prove this to you. Um, so this is Reddit. Reddit failed. So you can see here they got a 27 on performance. And let me see. This one is. Okay, this is the real world data. Now you don't have the real world data because you, it, it hasn't captured it. So your website just isn't popular enough yet, right? So you see no data. So, and this is people coming from, you know, it's estimating various network connections. So it could be 3G, it could be a handful of 2Gs in like Africa or something or Middle East or rural parts of America. Could be really fast cable modem connected. So you don't really know. So this failed. Now, again, these, the numbers are, this is the cumulative largest contemptful paint isn't good, but it still failed failed regardless and 27 on the lab data so this is very similar to yours look uh, uh 10.4 um and you can see this is slow slow 4g throttling so you can imagine what is this reddit how much money do they spend on performance and so your, your web host is probably you know um between five and fifty dollars a month um some, something like that and reddit probably spends i don't know the equivalent of hundreds of dollars per month on hosting um, and they probably have dozens of engineers working on website performance and they still can't get a yellow or a green score for mobile performance. So let's go to, what was this? Tesla failed. Let's see. 35, right? What is this? Verizon failed six. So most websites, I think Amazon passes Bloomberg. I think Bloomberg might pass actually. Um, okay. Yeah. Failed here, but they don't have the lab data for some reason. Interesting. Oh, they got an unknown error. So as you can see, it's it's pretty difficult. So let me, let me show you um, what, where these scores come from. This score doesn't matter. This is just a guideline for developers. And I'm going to send you a link um, that will help explain this even more. It, it's not my article. The, the guy's a little saucy that writes it. He's a little has a little attitude. So that's don't take it that way. But it's a really good write-up on why you shouldn't focus on these scores so much. Um, but you can see here. So... This is eliminate render blocking resources. So this means just like scripts that are loading. So, but you have, whoops. Okay, let me see. Let me let me pause it. Something. Let me pause it while this loads again. I, I hit the. I clicked on something. Okay, it finished. But let me go back to your waterfall chart real quick. Web. I don't even use Google PageSpeed Insights because it's. It's kind of like imagine you're a mechanic. I can't I can't think of a good example. And people that come to you say they want this done and you try to explain to them that it's not important. Um, don't worry about it, but they still want to do it because they think it matters when it really doesn't. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a it's definitely a struggle to explain the explain an expectation to clients. So back to the waterfall chart. So these fonts, I would reduce these fonts. We could optimize these images. We could try WP Rocket. So I went over all that in the last video. So there's things you could do, CDN, uh, optimize database, blah, 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 there's things we can do. I just don't want you to think I'm not, I, I would certainly not be able to get this to green, probably not even yellow. So let me show you. So eliminate, eliminate, eliminate render blocking resources. So if, so that goes back to this, these. Some, some most websites I, I should have had examples up are going to have render blocking resources. You just need them to block. For example, this has to load before you know some of these others load because the web page will look messed up. So there's no way to get rid of it. So you're getting ding for things that aren't really even relevant. Reduce unused JavaScript. It could be you have plugins that throw this extra JavaScript out there, so you that you don't and you don't write the code for the plugin, so you can't get rid of it. Um, now, if you hand coded the website, which I would not recommend, you could go and go. Okay, this this 
this JavaScript isn't needed, so let's get rid of it. And this, some of this may actually being used. It's just this this synthetic test detects it incorrectly. Um, serve images in next gen format. So this is because it's JPG, and this is obviously something we would do is convert it to um, WebP, decrease the size a little bit. So you get a few points for that. Probably maybe get it up to like what are you at thirty one or something, uh, twenty five. Maybe get it up to like thirty one, perhaps. But like I said, this don't worry about that score. Um, property so, properly sized images, so change the dimensions of the images, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So all this stuff ensure text remains visible during web, web font load. So what's happening there? You may not be able to do anything with that. Reduce impact of third party code, but you're using ads. So this third party code has. Now, if you don't want to, if you can remove ads, we can get rid of this message. Um, you're using Google Tag Manager, you're using Google Analytics, so you can see you're getting dinged for stuff that is you have to have you don't have to have but you are you do have tidio live chat which i use too tidio live chat's great you don't want to get rid of that because you want to have a live chat option on your website so it's kind of a sticky thing it's this isn't my professional opinion i wouldn't worry about anything i mean well we could try those few things out but my concern is you might be paying me for not being able to i usually work with clients that websites load like in six seconds and i can get it down to like two or three between one and three yours loads pretty quick um so my concern is you pay me for something and I can only improve the performance by like 5% and this score is not going to improve much and then you're unhappy, right? So you're kind of up in the air about it. So if you want me to try to tweak it a little bit, I can, but understand with the expectation, I'm not going to be able to, this is not 90% not going to be able to go to yellow and the actual performance isn't going to improve much, maybe you know, by like five to ten percent, but that's it. So, hope this helped. Um, yeah, it's just just one of those things we have to explain. It's it's uh, it's people read. Um, it's common for people to read. You know, web performance stuff. Then they they you know Google like web uh, web uh, test page speed. You know, and they go they go here, and what they do is they look at these scores without understanding what it all really means. And it's a constant struggle we have trying to explain. But hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions, and maybe we can do some things. I mentioned the security audits, which I definitely will find issues with security audits. I've never worked with a client on security issues and not found actually multiple issues. So hope this helps. Um, it's probably disappointing, but let me know what you think. Mm -hmm.